looks like I'm continuing to make all the wrong choices. Trip Shop Briar, the Bronx, quarter after 1 a.m. 45 minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. She didn't even give me a chance to explain. What? Look like a normal person. We're closed. I need to talk to Holly. How drunk are hey, you? Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, it, it was Snow who let me go, all right? All right. Just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She she said so herself. I just wanted to detain I'm you, so I'm okay with yourself, it. sorry yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. Much more enjoyable this way. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend. Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Maybe it's not as enjoyable this way. Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Have you seen Lily's things? What, wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back. You won't be able to wake her. Really? Don't wake her. The doc gave them both barmesidal ambrosia. For the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time. He's not gonna remember. <laughs> I'm after Crane, all right? The guy we all hate. And there's a time limit here, so try and focus for a minute. Crane? We'll get to whatever you're here for in a sec. And he's gonna pass out. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. <laughs> I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all going to have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. Oh, please don't think me pass slug. out. Just to shut him up. Don't make me pass out. Don't make me pass out. Don't be like poison or something. Dead. All right, now help me. Grand. Doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> what more do you want, 
What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. Who's dead? This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he He's thinks. He's not gonna know anything he else. You have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Not my problem. Just wasting my time. I don't think Woody knows where this stuff is. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. Okay. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. No. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Yeah, you may- Kren won't remember this. <laughs> No, no, he won't. Don't wake her, Big B. Don't wake her. Crate of alcohol. Is that it? And really nothing else. Oh, it's underneath the cot. Crap. Ugh. I don't know why I can examine this. Gosh, that was way too convenient. I love it. I did not have a go back to sleep. Excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Let's go back to sleep, Holly. It's fine. Um, look, the photograph. It's not gonna be in the bottle of wine. Yes, it is. That'd be fantastic. So that's Faze, Narissa, and another girl. Maybe Holly's glamour? Do you even give a shit about us? The straight... Hope there's a starting two line. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. Holly, just because I live in the woodlands doesn't mean I'm not one of your strays. I'm not Crane or Cole. I didn't exactly grow up wearing clothes. Yeah, I know you didn't. Look at the glamour tube first. That's not a deer. Why'd you even come here? 
There's nothing here to investigate. I need to, uh, look through your sister's things. To look for clues? Um, if you want to put it that way. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Faith. Oh, at least you're honest. You just remember whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself. I got Faith and Lily mixed up in my head again. You. I thought she said Faith so for some reason. Have any more fuck up. Getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's thing. Of course it was. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Made all the wrong decisions again. Should have gone there first. Oh, uh, that was my original touch, and I'm like, Big B. No, I don't want to bother her. Yeah, me too. Number Antique Grandley's apartment, 1284 yeah, White Plains Avenue, 1214 a.m. This is 14 it. minutes late. All right, how do you want to do this? Listen. Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Or two, knock. Why not? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in. We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know. Knock? I mean, we have no idea what's I just want to open the door, like... Guys, we're talking a bit loud, honey. Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... I'm Big B. This is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. <laughs> Is there uh, something you want? I don't think I can really help you. No, them. you're better at this. So can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. These people? You mean children? <laughs> Thank you, Snow. Do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. Yep, <laughs> doesn't wait for a response. Oh dear head, that's a good sign. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Record player, stove, deer skull, portrait. She portrait my beak. Rain's been over all night. That your mom? Uh huh. Okay. Um. Where do you 
buy your clothes? At a store? Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. Might say a tree. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Oops, kind. Okay. I saw a spider over there. Just to make sure. Okay, good. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Open the closet door. The butcher. The butcher? What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the butcher. It's empty. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please? I want to go look. Ah. Uh. Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to. What if she it. glamoured him as her daughter? She'll freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> Anti-green leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. Interesting. What? Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. I'm good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Please, Greenleaf, just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean... What on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. Hmm. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenlee, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? And tell me! 